Hello! Here we are again! And today I'm testing a new setup. Uh, it seems to be using more CPU than usual. I don't know why. Although, to be fair, um, OBS CPU calculation or whatever it's not really the most reliable, is it? So anyway, yeah, I'm see the temperature of my PC is currently maybe hot, 72 degrees, and it definitely uses more CPU. Maybe about the five percent more, six percent. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I hope it's not a bad stream uh, because I'm going to continue working on the DOS game, um, and I wouldn't like that to affect, you know, the new setup affecting the stream. We see, what, we see what happens. So yeah, looking at time yeah 29 days seven hours um last day we yeah i was planning to start with the player um but i kind of got distracted because we implemented the the hood instead which is working you know it's showing the number of lives the score um what is the stage it shouldn't be zero, right? Let's fix that. And what's in game? And we also showing the time, and we use the timer. We implemented to 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 have a countdown clock that works pretty well. So that is good. So it's going to be a stage plus one, right? Oh, wait a minute. I didn't do here my local environment. Cool. Cool, stage one. And here, I believe, is complaining about. Ooh. There's a couple of things here we should be looking at. Oh, because I didn't include. the time right here how fun is C isn't it so it doesn't know anything about what you're talking about but because the linker finds the stuff you're looking for yeah everybody's happy okay so now it's complaining about other things uh time and star discuss okay okay let's fix that very quickly so okay yeah i guess it makes sense because uh obviously we are going to update that from from the inter from the interval right so we need to tell that yeah that's important and what was the other issue I was complaining about? Um, it's both the same. So it should be happy now. Well, we complain about his high score. But that's okay, we know that's going to be there. Okay. So that doesn't change anything. The compiler is happy now, so uh, let's okay. So let's do first the timer reads. I don't know if that's a great, but 
that's what I want to say. Uh, and this is just so. Yeah, I mean the temperature is over. It's seventy-five degrees right now. Assuming that, that that is correct, it's kind of, you know, it's going up and down. It's still hot, right? And it's going to be hotter because this is the beginning of, well, it's not summer yet, but. Anyway, I need to find out why it's using more CPU and that if that is affecting, obviously, it's getting hotter because of that, I would suspect. So I need to find out why, what, uh, I have done what I'm doing different now that is causing that issue. Anyway, right, so today, um, so the, my calculator here because I'm going to use it. Um, Let's think a little bit what we're going to do. So we're going to do the player. Uh, and I think we can do the player only uh, using the player sprites here. I think we can do the player only. Uh, and I'm going to, man to keep the player independent of, of the entity system, I think. Um, yeah, because it's going to give us more flexibility. So I have done both in, in different games and I don't like 100% either, but in this case, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the game here. I'm going to keep, uh, I'm, I'm going to use global variables because I don't, I don't mind that for a game, but I'm going to keep them local to the module that I'm working, out, uh, working with and so with the player, it's going to be fine, I think. So let's take a look. Um, now the question is, how do I call it? It's not an entity, so it's going to be just player. And that's it. So. So, um, what we're going to do with the player is in it when we start the, uh, yeah, for now we're going to do it like that, I guess, uh, we should say X and Y, right? Because I will expect, um, expect the map spawn in the player so it's going to be for sure a player race a player draw and a player update I would say it's good for ladies maybe so this is going to be true I think so. Um, so player, although I don't think I'm going to, yeah, it's probably we're going to include some, have some includes, some defines maybe. Uh, although, to be honest, they shouldn't be in include because if they are going to be local for the player, but we see. Uh, so. We're going to use, we're going to bleed stuff. And that's probably it. So, okay. Let's start with this. So, things that we're going to need here. 16p is going to be x. 
uh, we can have them in line x y um, we're going to have frame of the animation we have to have gravity we're going to have delay for the frame animation what else are we going to have um let's start with that i think that's probably enough so when we in the player it's basically uh uh, yeah, let's call it X and Y because it's going to be local, right? Uh, no, let's <laughs> see. Okay, so let's put a prefix. We probably don't need, uh, no, let's not do that. It's going to be confusing. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's a junk game. We can make mistakes. Okay. So clear update is going to be the big one. Um, play race and play a pro. Okay, so um, we need more things here. So we need static const. Frames. We need frames, right? Um, so basically, we need to know because the animation cycle is going to be zero. So going right, it's going to be zero, one, zero, two, right? And this is the frame for jump, and this is the frame for the in for both directions. So that means mm, let's do something let's move this here we go so we can do this um how do i do this mm, so a frame number uh but it's not going to be that because we're going to use the bleed with RC here, right? Hmm. So it's probably it's going to be an array of rect. Right? And it's going to have two because it's going to be left and right. So and we're gonna start Oh no, let's, let's, let's do first one. Okay, so, so it's going to be, so the source is going to be zero, zero. Oh, that one was easy. Zero, zero. And we need to say the width and height of the full. Oh, see, I used to have that in there, but I don't see now. So, image properties. So, 144 by 144. Okay. So, that's going to be one frame. Uh, no, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be more like this. 
right? So first level is going to be this. So it's going to be oh no, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> oh yeah, it's going to be red, right? But nah, we we're going to get it wrong. I'm going to get it wrong. It's okay. So so it's going to be 16, then it's going to be 24, 32. So these three. And then we can do jump. Which is going to be the next one. So so going to be So, oh, what happened? Hmm? I don't know how to do this. Let's see if I can do it. So I think it is, I do R equals. I don't know what is doing there. So you're inserting. There it is. No. So insert R R and then No, this is not what I want. No. Well I thought it was something like this, so we do control R um, I want to make the calculation in BIM, but I'm failing, so it's okay. I don't. Cool. So after that, sleeping. So, okay, so this should be. And then we keep going, right? So. So it's going to be, of course, 64. 64, then it's going to be 76. No, 80. Mm -hmm. All right. And then what? 96. And then 112. And then the last one is dying. 128. I think we're going to duplicate that one. Yeah. Okay. Oops. So a lot of warnings. Cons frames the multidimensional was born to all dimensions the first. Okay. So that means is one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yeah, it's going to be six. And, and it's a standard int. Okay, much better. So yeah, it's fine. It's just complaining about the user stuff. So this seems to be okay now. Um, so what does it mean? So we have... So we have here... Fine, so... Uh, no. Uh, it's going to be one. Oh, hello, Racing the Bean. How are you doing? I'm not very inspired today. So, facing right. Yeah, and this is still using too much CPU. And we are around 75 degrees CPU heat. So, I'm not sure. We're melting today. We're on fire. So, right, left. Uh, 
so jump is going to be 0 1 2 3 and 0 1 2 3 4 5 is that it okay so those are going to be useful uh, so those are frames um, and I think we're going to do what do I tell when it's so those are the frame for jump dying fine and now we need also the um, um while cycle right just going to be zero one zero two right and what is it the fine is just going to be four okay so fine so for drawing we're going to need also here uh, we need the background that we need to preserve right and it's going to be 64 which is no 16 by 16 256 Good, very good calculations today. Okay. Um, so draw is going to need a red here, which is going to be destination. Uh, oh, I'm today I'm using i3. And I'm not convinced if, if it's a great idea because uh, OBS is kind of using more CPU, quite a lot more. Well, some more. So I'm not completely sure what I'm doing differently, but yeah, probably not the best idea, right? To make experiments. It is a skin somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably doing some kind of behind the scenes because I only have one screen. So I have split things in different ways. So you may be seeing only a bit of it. So the bar at the bottom. Can you see the bar at the bottom? Oh, do you mean this? Do you mean this here? No, that's Tmax. You are only seeing, uh, yeah, you're, that's Tmax, that's just a terminal. See, I'm using a multiplexer and say that tiling manager, see? So this is uh, Firefox using all the space and this is uh, in using all the space. So this is uh, Tmax, so this is just a terminal. Anyway, I'm still, I don't know if this is the best way of doing it, but that's what I'm doing at the moment. So, okay. So destination is going to be zero zero. Uh, no, actually, um, we just need to do this. We need to do px py sixteen sixteen, and it's not like that because we agree that we are going to use x and y. So, the first thing we need to do is bleed uh, without the, without RC, without the, without the source, right? Um, so for that, oh, this is not going to work. There you go, something that is missing. Because the source can be the sprite. It has to be the frame buffer. And 
Do we have that available? I don't remember what we did here. I think we did. We made it. We made, right? Uh, no, we opened the frame buffer and that returns a, a value. This is wrong. I need the frame buffer to copy. Um, no, what I'm thinking, what I'm doing. So this is bleeding from the sprite to a sprite into a destination. So we need a, another function to copy. So, right? So, yeah. So bleed, because we need to be able to copy from the screen to destination, right? So, const break. Uh, well, I mean, we can do this. Destination. And how we call this? Bleed 2. How would you call it, Raise the Beam? So, Bleed is going to copy a uh, sprite into the frame buffer, into the back buffer. If you want to copy from the back buffer into into memory, how would you call that function? Bleed? Mm, no. Uh, bleed copy? Bleed? And bleed. Exactly. That <laughs> and bleed would be erased, right? Yeah, it's a good one. Um, I don't know. I mean, RC. Bleed back. Hmm. I mean, it's more like read, read, buffer, maybe, or how do we call that? Yeah, okay. Let's do that. So, I have, um, I don't know. I mean, this is kind of a side quest now because I didn't know we have to do this. But it's going to be okay. So, so we need now a function that is going to be read buffer. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. We definitely need this. I mean, I made the same mistake uh, in my fantasy console. You know, a little bit late, I realized that. I had to good save. Okay, so yeah, because it's different direction, right? So it has to be like this. Uh, so okay, so it's going to be source and source source. And then instead of a sprite, it's going to be and it's going to be the other way around. It's going to be more like, uh, like this. Okay, 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 wait a minute. Uh, so if it's transparent, what do we do? Well, we still read transparent, right? Or what? I think we still read transparent. And 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 what? <laughs> okay, so Uh, 
Okay, so we're going to do this. So if we are auto blipping, blip, blipping, blipping, uh, so clipping, we can use zero or maybe transparent. Why not? Uh, otherwise, we read the, the, the buffer. And then that's what we're, what we're going to store. It may work. Why not? This is going to be a little bit tricky to, to test, but... Okay, so let's assume that this read buffer works. Let's continue. So... Read buffer, then we're going to do into VG, and we're going to do... a VG source. Okay, so that will read the buffer, and then we we bleed, and destination is going to be X Y sixteen sixteen, and we do yeah because we need to read the background before drawing so we can on the next frame we can erase the background so if i was doing this in an a bit uh, machine i probably wouldn't have 256 bytes to store the background instead what you do is you make something that is sometimes a little bit slower but uses way less memory um, because you have the time map right so Knowing the coordinates of, of what you want to erase, you can draw back the tiles that are dirty. So instead of you usually you end drawing over drawing, but it's faster. Well, it's faster. It's not faster than just drawing them on. But you're not going to have enough memory to do it faster. Sorry, you're not going to have enough memory to have one to store the background of each sprite you want to erase. So instead you do it slower, but you save a lot of memory. I mean, if you have 256 and let's say you have, I don't know, 16 entities, that's only 4Ks just for erasing that. And sometimes 4Ks were used for the whole map, uh, all the stage the stages, for example. So yeah, it's, it, it's probably a little bit wasteful um, so bleed RC what we're going to do is um, so we need data as well here so we're going to do um, binary sprites start is that right I don't remember how this works and we are <laughs> and we are just I wrote that like how many days ago? Um plate RC Yeah, okay, yeah. Is is what is what I expect. Uh so let's have yeah here. So special start then it's going to be the source and the destination and the source is going to be the frame right so then we need another one which is going to be the direction we're facing so so the source is going to be frames uh, frame no sorry direction frame and we also need to initially initialize a couple of things here so frame is zero um, direction is going to be left 
Uh, we can do something. So we have frame jam, frame dagen, frame uh, standing. Maybe frame standing. How do you call that? Maybe. So you just standing, doing nothing. First frame, which is this one. So direction is left. No, direction is right. It really doesn't matter. We're going to face right first. Frame standing. Uh, then we are not falling. So there's no gravity right now. So the gravity is in zero. Uh, so gravity is off. Okay, let's have constants for everything. So gravity off is zero and delay is going to be zero. Delay, delay is something we're going to use for the frame animation. Cool. So, so direction frame, destination, X, Y, uh, background source, which I just realized that it's the same, right? Cool. So player erase. Um, so what player erase is going to do is basically is going to do just bleed. So it's going to be destination and that's it. So basically when you, when we're going to make the, um, so when we, the game loop, what it's going to do is we, so first before entering the loop, we're going to draw because what we're going to do is, uh, it's going to read the buffer. So we have a background to erase and we're going to draw the character. And then what we do is always erase, update, draw, erase, update, draw, and that's it. Now for the regular entities, um, we always erase and after the update, so we do erase, update, draw. So in, if in the update, the, the entity has finished, you know, stops existing, you know, it's been removed, then we don't draw again, but we always need to update. And we need to do all the, sorry, we always need to erase and we do all the erase steps together. So we restore all the background, basically. So, so this, um, we can plug in now. And we're going to have a list of, I will assume entities here. So, okay. So map render the player in it. And we can put the player in. So, for example, here. Why not? So, two fourteen. Two fourteen. So that is going to be. So sixteen. I mean, if we're going to going, we could be also saying they need being a bit, yeah. Uh, yeah, we could be doing that. So uh, it could be six bit, uh, eight bits, and yeah, I'm tempted to do that and make this in tiles, hmm? but it's fine because in this way. We don't need to worry about the map being too big or whatever. If at some point I reuse this to use scroll, I don't need to change it, whatever. So player in it, uh, and then we do. We do the player 
and then what we said we're going to do is player erase well we can call it okay it's not doing anything and then player draw basically is that any warning warning assignment okay so okay so that is in VGA that's the code we just wrote um that I'm doing something silly silly stupid uh huh what's complaining about Oh, read only location. Okay, because it's not const. Anyway, we will get there, even if it's, I'm not especially inspired. Okay, we're not using the work cycle. And I crash it for a cementation for boom. Okay. So it's definitely, definitely not working as intended. Uh, okay, so first of all, um, it was 15. No, sorry, what did I do? Yeah, as I said, I'm not especially inspired today okay so that's fine uh, but it's not that's not the background is it did the map render right so the map is being rendered in the background so when I do draw here the map is being rendered already so that means that means that we read the so destination is x y 16 16 so why uh hey yeah fine this looks okay this looks okay then b if it's out of the area we is transparent otherwise we get the actual value and yes that's right okay so so it's drawing the character and it's preserving the background. That's something. Cool. So uh, let's let's commit this part here. Um, Cool, so that's done. Cool, so I guess we're gonna start with the logic of the player. Right? Um, so I guess the easiest thing to do is just do it. So we need the keyboard as well, right? So it keys and I don't remember anything. So let's open it here. Okay, if keys uh hey 
So let's do right first. And no. So you go into the red, right, not to the left. Then we'll do something. Okay, so so we're going to need to have a, a flag to know if we have moved because if we don't move what we're going to do is uh, fall back to the to the standing what is that what is that what is that you know frame standing Otherwise, we update the loop periodically using the delay. So basically, if moved, then we update the frame, right? So if delay is equal to whatever. Let's say 10. I don't know. I don't know. 60 frames per second. Uh, what is going to be a delay, but. Let's do that. Like this. So we do delay equals to zero. Uh, uh, wait a moment. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Now we can. We need to do it like, ah, uh, we can do it like that. We can't translate. We need to do it in, the, in place. So it's going to be zero one, zero one, zero two, zero one, zero two. So this is. Y cycle No, wait a minute. Uh, I'm confused. Zero one zero two. So that is zero one zero two. And then yeah, we have too many here because this is jump okay so this is jump and then the last one has to be dying right so it should be 12 One cycle jump and die. So the other one was wrong. So it's going to be zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Fine. So basically, what we're going to do here is frame increase the frame. If frame equals uh, frame jump, uh, no, because we have a wild cycle frame, right? Hey, how you doing? ¿Qué tal? Uh, Ah, uh, your name just slipped my mind completely. Ekaitsa. I think I know who you are, but... Yes, I know who you are. Um, I'm kind of. So I, I, I want to do the same thing, but I did it slightly different. So far it's been okay. The only thing I have noticed is that... Um, 
OBS is using a little bit more CPU. And today it's a little bit warm here. And the CPU is 75 degrees right now. And it's usually not that high. It's around the 60 something, 65 maybe. So there's something weird. OBS is using more CPU and I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I need to find out why. 70, yeah, it's kind of hot. It gets hot. It's actually 74, 75. Yeah, but you know, it's kind of stable right now. So I don't think it's going to burn. It's, it's quite hot, actually. Yeah, tomorrow I need to open the... I will open the... Because it's one of those tiny... Tiny PCs, so... It's probably... I, it's been probably a year... I don't know, I cleaned it last year before summer, so it's probably... Full of... Fluff and dust and... Yeah, exactly. It's a gigabyte. It's an i3, it's not really anything impressive. It's kind of retro. It's, it's, it's going to get retro, be retro soon, I think. So there you go. Uh, so while cycle primes is four, which is what we're going to use here instead. So. Then we go back to zero. Right. Um, yeah, and otherwise, if we didn't move, then delay zero and frame is frame standing. So, yeah, that should be it. So, in here. We are going to say move because if we push into the wall, I still want the working animation to work in there. So here um, we need a map actually. Uh, and why did I got this here? Oh, because I probably, you know, up left, right down. It's key left. Yeah. Okay, fine. So um, let's take a look at the map. So the map, um, so we're going to check if we are blocked, right? So if not, is map block uh, x plus 16, y plus uh, 16. We're going to check the feed, I think. So if it's not if it's not blocked, wait, let's go to try with with one pixel at a time, but it's likely to be too slow, I think. And then minus one, and that could break things, I think. Yeah, that is going to break things. If I do that, then we go to the border of the screen, it's going to crash. Isn't it? Uh, okay, for now, this is wrong, but. So. Yeah, but we need to do the border of the screen because I want to... So by looking at the design here, I plan to be able to go to the other side. Uh, I still don't know how I'm going to do it, to be honest, but... Um, yeah. Maybe we can do... something here. Okay, let's... I don't know, I tend to do plus one because if you make less uh, mistakes with pointers, but let's, let's do it like this and then it looks better anyway. So 
this is only if x is less than um, what? So map with multiply by map tile width, I guess. And it works because it's one pixel at a time, right? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And this is, you know, if we are not very worried. Okay, let's do that for now. But I'm not completely sure about that. Okay. Uh, is map blocked? Why is complaining about that? Oh, first of all, it's keys. Keys. No key. I want to write some serious games, but every time I try, I get discouraged. Yeah, actually, um, that's... You know what? Um, there is a... Let me see if I can find out. Uh... Oh, man. Uh... There is this guy, uh, the guy that made Spelunky. This one. Okay, we, we're going to get there. This one. This is probably the most inspirational writing I have read about that. <laughs> this is you, and this is your game. You need to finish it. It's a good read. I totally recommend this. This, this one helped me a lot. I don't know how many times I have read this. So this is written by Derek Yu, which is the creator of Spelunky. So totally recommended. That text helped me to finish games eventually. I mean, it's not that, you know, by reading that you're going to start finishing games, but it helps. It helped me personally, at least. So, oh, map is blocked. I mean, you still need to learn a few things, right? But I think psychologically, um, it's kind of, it's very difficult to finish a game. Okay, let's see. Ooh, kind of, a little bit of moonwalking. It's always appreciated. Okay, so things that are not right. So first, we change direction no matter what. So, so we face right always, and then here we face left. So that's one thing. Then the work cycle is definitely wrong. Uh, why is it wrong? I don't know. Let's find out. No, what am I doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Okay. So that's one thing. Then direction and frame. So zero, one, two, three. So when we get to four, we went back to zero. Oh, it looks okay to me. Yeah, it's definitely wrong. But it's not definitely wrong because Okay, we change direction. Uh, okay, so... Okay, we need to take care of that. Or not. I don't think I have done that ever. So, it's okay to keep with the frame when you change direction. Um, but then, I think this is absolutely wrong. Or, you know, a little bit wrong. So, so... So this is definitely 
Yeah, of course, it's wrong. I'm, I'm increasing by 8 and it should be 16. Right? So, so that's, this is 48. Okay, so 0, 64. Uh, so that is, okay, so that one may be correct. Is it correct though? Yeah, it is correct. So 1632. So jump is going to be wrong. Because it's going to no, I fixed that one. So so 96. Yeah, I mean that's terrible. Of course we fly. Absolutely. Okay, so such is something in there. Why going the other way is funny. Direction left. Oh, because no, it's zero. Hmm. 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 What's going on? So left is one. So this is left. Oh. <laughs> I know what it is. Okay, so the first frame is this one, right? So 64. Oh, I'm rubbish today. So this is going to be a like this. And so. I don't trust my capabilities today, so let's do it. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so when we're pressing the key, uh, there's a little bit of funny business in there, but it could be those box. Those box plus OBS plus my poor PC spitting blood doing the best. Okay, so it's definitely not doing the right thing there, but we don't care for now. Um, this is probably not not the best location for testing, really. Uh, so we should be going down a little bit um, because we don't have walls. So how do we know if it works? Mm. So let's put it, place it here. And this is 16. So, in game, when we need the player, so 16. Oh no, it's 8. Sorry, it's 8. 128. Yeah, I mean, it's only one down. I don't think that's correct. It's not going to be in the right place. Let's see. No. So, what the. Oh, because we need to add 16. So it's the offset, right? Okay, so let's, we need to do it like this, but then when we draw the player, because the hood is on top and it's 16 pixel height, so in the Y, so we need to always add uh, whatever it's called. So map of Y. Very catchy name. I don't know why I call it like that, but yeah. 
So this is only for when we read reading from the skin, when we skin, skin when we when we draw it. But it's better that for everything else. We are in the right place. Okay, so it's working now. Yeah, I'm happy with the animation cycle. What do you think, guys? Looks good. Maybe the delay of the wall cycle is a little bit too long. There's only one way of knowing if it's too long, which is basically trying different values. Yeah, that one feels better. Um, I'm doing everything from scratch. Um, there is a... Okay, so... I mean, I don't I don't think you want... I, I don't know. I mean, just in case you want to look at it. Um, because I'm putting all in a new playlist. In a playlist here in, in YouTube. Just in case you want to look at the series, basically. Uh, but yeah, it's all from scratch. I'm just building just the bits that I need. So today, just a few minutes ago, I realized that I didn't have, <laughs> I had a bleed. So I have functions to draw on the screen, but I didn't have any function to read from the back buffer. So in order to get the background and delete, so to erase the, you know, the position of the player after that, I needed a function, so I had to write it now. So I'm just writing the stuff I need because just a little bit of context. Uh, I was planning, to, well, I'm planning to submit the game to this game jam that is ending in 29 days now. So I'm just doing the minimal amount of stuff. And because it's for those, for, it's for, uh, for those, it's not too complicated. So I'm just in protective mode. So you need a 386 to make this work. So. I mean, it's kind of good balance between restrictions, but not being too difficult. So, I mean, I mean, looking at this, uh, I mean, it's just that I'm writing it in C. And because you map the, you know, the BGA is easy to program, easy, kind of. I mean, compare with OpenGL. <laughs> you know, the amount of stuff you need to write to draw a triangle on the screen or whatever. But, it's going to, at the end, not that it's going to look similar to what we you do with SDL, for example. It's just that I'm calling the functions in a different, with different names. And yeah, I'm doing things thinking that how I will do it in SDL. So perhaps when I finish, I can just swap those functions. Yes. And just uh, have a port for Linux, Mac, uh, Windows, whatever. Yeah, but let's not go ahead to ourselves. Um, yeah, give me a sec, guys. I'll be back in in a minute.
All right. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So I think movement, the player is moving, the character is moving and it looks okay. Um, the animation is fine. I'll consider. Cool. So yeah, let's implement gravity, shall we? Okay, so the way I'm going to implement gravity is the way I do it in 8-bit games. Uh, because why not? Uh, I like I like how it works that way. It's easy to implement. Um, it's pretty fast and it works in 8-bit systems, so. So now, to make things faster, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get some magic numbers. Uh, there are not here. I know. Uh, uh, so... From, a, from a, one of my games. Um, because so basically, uh, in, and I wonder where I put that. There's two files already, and I haven't found it. So, um, so basically, what I do is um, I keep um, an array with values from going up and down, and that's why I implement the gravity. So I want to use Rayleigh these days. It looks pretty well rendered. Yeah, actually, uh, I've been looking. I have looked at it a couple of times, but I don't know. Um, I guess I have been used. I, I have, you know, the first time I used SDL was SDL one, uh, and it was like twenty years ago, maybe more. Um, and I kind of like it. So I have tried uh, SFML. In C++ and it's also very nice uh, but you know I look at Riley but I never had when I look at it I was already doing a bit games so I didn't think like doing anything for PC and and then when I started doing something with uh, Haskell uh, I was using SEL because it's what, what I know just trying to have only one thing yeah SFML is very nice I like it pretty much but yeah and SDL too is great. Yeah, it depends what you do. I mean, I kind of stuck in C++ when it was on C, C++ 3, something like that. Like, I stopped learning C++ in 98, 99. And you can survive just with that, really. So, um, let's see if I can find what I'm looking for, um, which is this, haha, -ha. this is what I'm looking for. So jump sequence, but I'm going to call it here, uh, gravity set. Yeah, I mean, C++ has been growing a lot recently, and I don't think I, I have the energy to actually. Yeah, I don't know. It's not my cup of tea. I mean, uh, for, you know, for, in my day job, I do a Scala. So I, I like functional programming anyway. And, you know, personal projects, I'm using C because in this one, because it's for DOS. But anyway, you know, C is the first primary language I learned really deep enough so I kind of do see all the time yeah I see that yeah I mean that's what C++ needed right lambdas <laughs> I don't understand things but there you go cool and actually we can cheat because we can look at how implemented gravity here although although I don't think I'm going to do it the same see I'm doing this I'm repeating myself so you have a flag here just the same how many times I have done the same 
in different platforms. It's just the same stuff all the time. So, so move is probably because I'm doing the frame bits somewhere. There you go. I mean, I wrote the same code. So this code is from 2017 for the MSX. Oh, feelings about closure. Very bad feelings. <laughs> I don't like it. I mean, I had tried, I had tried hard and I don't like lisps at all. Uh, I have done some uh, scheme, but closure now, uh, you know, like, uh, five years ago, um, I changed teams. We could choose technology and we tried Python, Go, Clojure, and Scala. And we didn't like Clojure at all. Like, uh, the error reporting was terrible. Then, after that, they, they released a new version of the compiler and it was much better. But the error reporting was crazy. It was like, this is madness. I, how can people will can build things with this? So we didn't choose Crusher. Uh, at the end, we, we went with Scala because there was one guy in the team that well, it had very good background with Scala, and you know I, I like Scala as well. So yeah, but no, I'm not. I I just gave up. I know that you like uh, Scheme and Quix and stuff, but. Rebel driven development and stuff is really nice. Yeah, but I never connected with that. So, have you ever used OCaml? Um, no, not really. Um, I'm kind of, you know, after start I started doing a Scala, and then because I thought, oh, would learning, you know, if I learn Haskell, would that help me to do better Scala? It does. It helps a lot. So once you get a strong type systems like that and you start using them, I, it's very difficult to, to write code without types, uh, with a strong type system. And OCaml has it or doesn't have it? I don't know, really. But I think it, it does it. Megadin, do you know? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it's not enjoyable, but uh, so in practice, we are object oriented uh, typing in fair static strong. Yeah, strong types. I never see, I have seen code of this, but I never wrote anything at all with it. Yeah, strongly typed. Then it might have a chance with me. I mean, I'm, when I write type on. Python now, I need to use type annotations, otherwise it's like, no, not anymore. I didn't know. Mm, oh, come on. Yeah, cool. Is it compiled, interpreted? Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I know one guy that likes it, but that's, that's it. And he's very, very smart, by the way. So there must be something interesting in there. But. Okay, so I was comparing this. Uh, yeah, okay. There you go. So if it's move, yeah, it's the same code. So I wrote the same code, more or less. Stand, I call it standing. Eh, yeah, okay. I guess myself from six years ago was smarter. So frame standing. Uh, yeah, it's kind of the same. Oh, yeah, okay. So we will look at that later because if the frame is the jumping frame, we don't want to... We don't want to do this. All right, okay. We can check that later. Uh, what else did I, do I do differently here? No, no, nothing else. Everything is the same. So... Yeah, right, move. Yeah, it's the same. We're doing the same. Two pixels I was moving on this one. Um, so I'm checking 15, 15. Ooh, interesting. Why 15? So I'm not checking. Oh, okay. It's because I'm probably doing some adjustment because 
I mean, sometimes you do those things. I mean, if you look at this sprite here, we have like from two to three uh, pixels in front of it. So, so, you know, it can look a little bit weird that you're pushing to the wall and you are three pixels away from the wall. But, you know, with these resolutions, it might look funny. So yeah, maybe what I'm doing here is adjusting that. Yeah, it's okay. We can, we, I can tweak that later because that's how it feels the game at the end. And in this way, yeah, it's another cutting out the pixel in there. So it's the same. It's exactly the same. I just changed it. I wrote the same code again. Cool. Well, let's take a look what I did for the gravity. So, okay. So let's make the character fall, shall we? Um. So what I did here is before left and right, and I think this one I'm doing in the Haskell code as well. It makes sense. So, so if, gravity, if there is no gravity, gravity will be gravity off. Gra gravity off is zero. Okay, let's compare. Just make it just slightly. If it's no gravity off, um, then we check that we don't have anything under it, underneath. So, so we need to check that the that you know I'm, I'm checking two points because if I check only the center, it's going to we're going to fall getting a little bit in 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 inside uh, the walls, and we don't want to do that. So. So map is blocked. If we are not blocked on X plus. So when I'm checking this 4 and 11, and it's kind of similar, right? If I check the limits of the sprite 16 by 16, what you're going to get is that you're going to be floating in the air, right? Because it's too far away. So usually what you do is that you move a little bit, a few pixels, so it doesn't look that much. So let's do four, like I was doing on that one. And then for the Y coordinate, because it's 16 by 16, uh, if I check 16, what I'm checking is the, the tile that is underneath. And that one, if that one is not blocked, and then, so, I'm do, we're doing plus four, so which is, let's get, for example, yellow. So zero, one, two, three, four. So it will be there, and then it's zero. Sorry, uh, it's not zero. It is, what was that? Uh, 11, sorry. So let's go to that. So 11, it is here. So yeah, so that's good compromise, right? It's still, there is a, a chance that you are floating in the air, but it's not going to be that much. So it's, it's, I think it's better. Okay, so in this case, um, okay, so we have, so we need to have a little bit of a couple of constants here. So gravity off, then gravity down, which is basically zero, one, two, three, four, five, seven, and gravity up, which is going to be zero. Uh, sorry, not zero, it's going to be one. Uh, okay. Because when it's zero, uh, it's disabled, so this has to be plus one. We need to make a subtraction, right? Do I put a comment? Who's going to read this source code after that? Okay, and...
I mean, in reality, we could be using a flag. I'm, not, I'm telling you, I wrote this code already in 2000. And, I mean, we can probably go back to 2014 and I was writing something pretty similar already. <laughs> so I think I know. I, I know. I'm not going to. I mean, it's easy to read anyway. Um, right. So. So what are we going to do is. You know, if there is no ground. We set gravity to going down, right? Um, we're going down. Uh, and then... So we moved. Okay, so we need to set the frame as well. To be... Frame jumping... Frame jump. And I think we're going to do something. Because if it's jump and dying, it should be jumping, right? Okay, frame jumping. So we jumping. And why are we saying two? I don't remember right now. Okay, so that's a very good point. So we shouldn't be changing the frame. So if frame is not jump, uh, if frame is not jumping, and this is probably also true for dying, but when we die in, we're going to do it differently, and that's probably okay. Um, so, does it make sense to do this? Because we moved, right? So, if we're going down, because this is going to trigger a few times. No. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, let's leave it like this for now. So we start falling, right? Because there is no floor. Uh, there is nothing blocked under in those two points. So we said that we're moving and the gravity is down and the frame is going to be jumping. So when we fall, it's going to look like this. Um, so if we jump in, then we don't do the wall cycle. Makes sense, right? So if the wall cycle is going on, you know, it really doesn't matter. We keep doing the wall cycle, but we, we don't change the frame. Uh, and if we don't move, so it means that when we are falling, we need to do the move. Okay, so, so we do day left and right, that makes sense. And then, if gravity, we update the gravity here, which is kind of what we're doing. Okay, so. Uh, is it worth doing it like this? Because this is not an 8-bit, right? So. Maybe we can make it like this. And simplify maybe so when we go up we subtract to y to the y coordinate and when we don't go down we, we add right so maybe we can do it like this because it's not an a bit so i don't need to do things overly complicated um what is this is doing is i mean I, you can tell that i decided to add this later on i think i have done this better in, in other games and basically what it's doing because we increment and uh now nah, it's better to do it the other way for one simple reason because we're going to we're going to move pixel by pixel. Why? Because if we fall in, for example, at four pixels uh, per frame, we could be ending 
inside a block, uh, inside a, something that is blocked, because we are going we're going down too fast, right? So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to increment or decrement by one. So, so, so we can say um, steps and gravity sequence and then gravity minus one. Right? Then if gravity is bigger than gravity down, then we're going down. Otherwise, we're going up because that's what we're going to do when we jump. Okay. So basically, uh, it's a for loop. Uh, so it's going to be zero until we get to steps. And it's going to be the same. Um, it's just that it's going to be it's going to be the same going up and down. It's just that we're going to check different things. So, um, so this is what we're going to do to check if we hit the floor, right? So we can even copy this because it's going to be the same or very similar. So, so when this happens, we hit the floor. So map because we changed the number, name of the function. And why is this doing what, what is this doing is. So what is this doing? Actually, good question. So, OK, so we hit the floor. The gravity is going to be off. And what else? Then the frame is going to be frame is standing, right? And and delay can be zero, but I don't think it really matters too much. So what is this checking? This is checking that. Uh, so I, again, we need to keep in mind that we need to check always with uh, the adjustment we did for the gravity. So four and 11, because we change that, it's going to look super way, weird. So, um, so this means that for those two points we check in, the tile just after the sprite is going to be blocked which means we hit the floor. But we also want to check that one pixel up where we are is not blocked. And we're doing that because the type of platforming I'm going to implement is that you can cross the platforms going up. And we don't want the player to be stuck inside the wall. So if that happens, we, we keep going down because that you can't really stay inside a wall. So this is, uh, and obviously we need to break the for loop, right? Cool, that's fine. And otherwise, we increment the Y, right? Because we're going down. And if we're going up, it's going to be very similar, but it's simpler from the point of view that going up, because we can cross the platforms going up, uh, we just go up. There's no nothing to do, really. Uh, why are we checking this? Uh, oh, this is me probably being a little bit of a coward. 
this is just checking that we don't get auto bounce with screen, right? But in this case, I don't, we're not going to worry for now. Besides, uh, the design of the screen is going to have a, a border of solid blocks anyway. So going down is never going to be a problem, right? going up all right okay so if we're going up um the, the the nice thing of doing this is that we just need to do um decrement the number of steps and that's it because we're going up so nothing can stop us we can cross the platforms going up the only thing we need to be careful is that we can get out of bounds uh so if we jump in on the top but it's never going to happen because there's so we go and you know again it's not we're never going to get too close you can jump over the top of the screen yeah you could yes so we can do something uh we need to check that it's not going to be oh well it's doing it here right okay yeah see myself from the past is smarter than myself today so so if y is less than steps, then y is going to be zero. We're never going to get out of screen. Otherwise, apply. And that's it. So, so now gravity goes down. That is going to work, right? So this works, and then... <laughs> it's not working. It's not working at all. Terrible, 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 terrible. Very disappointed. I have to say. Um, okay, so there is something any anyway here that I think is a little bit funny. Uh, because because. Uh, because we moved, right? So when we fall in... Hmm. So if there is gravity... So we, if, we, if there is gravity, we moved. I think the old code is too complicated. It's, it's not necessary to do it like that. So... Why is not falling down? Why is the gravity not working? Oh, because map is blocked has to be wrong. So map is blocked is if we get the tile on C map and it's bigger than map is first blocked. Mark first blocked is 40. Is that true? It's 40 here, but is, is this 40 really? Um, I don't know if it's going to be 40. I think this might be wrong. Well, no, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. Why am I saying it's wrong? If it was wrong, if it was wrong, we wouldn't be able to walk at all, right? Because that function is... So it is something else. It is something else. So gravity is not working. Uh, so gravity down is eight. Gravity up is one. Gravity off is zero. Ah, what are we doing? What are we doing wrong? I don't know. Uh, ah. <laughs> ah, that makes things difficult, isn't it? Okay. Okay, I, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of, but not really. Um, so gravity down, okay. <clears throat> if gravity is not... Just because it's a little bit more readable. So steps is gravity minus one. Is, if gravity is, okay, because we also need to 
to increase gravity, isn't it? Where do we do this in this code? So gravity off is when we get to the floor, right? There must be something here, yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. So if gravity and why is that? What what is what does it mean? Jamsec is twelve. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, because we can get out of bounds, right? So so we need to know what is um. It's twelve. It's actually 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Let's do this. And the compiler will say, no, you're, that's not the right value. Isn't it? Okay, so... So, once the gravity is on, independently of whatever we do here, we always need to update the gravity, isn't it? when there is gravity so if it's not off going up or down if the gravity is not because gravity off could be set when we hit the ground right so if it's not gravity off and gravity is not Gravity circle. Then remember that gravity has plus one because we're using it as well as a as a flag. So it looks weird, but it's correct. Then otherwise we increase gravity because this is a sequence. So when we jump, we we'll go up, then we stabilize on zero, and then we start going down. So the code was fine, but we are not moving the gravity. So it was stuck on, that's why it's stuck on the air. There you go. It's falling too, too quick. Look, we're working on spikes. Okay, so we need to adjust these numbers. This is kind of not good. And I think it's because, yeah, we need to adjust that. Why is that? I'm confused. Oh, because this, these numbers are set for 25 per second, 20 frames per second in PAL and 30 in NTSC. So this has to be double, I think. Double no, has to be half. Oh, damn it, I don't know. Uh, I think it has to be half. Uh, so this seven here is going to be terrible to calculate. Anyway, um, let's think about that later. Uh, four, yeah. See, at the end they need to, I mean, we can adjust a lot, but yeah, let's do four. Four, three. Then one, one, zero, zero, one, one. Two, three. We'll see. I mean, for now, we're going, going to see it going down, right? Oh, that did look nice. I mean, I like... So, in my games, I don't like uh, inertia at all. I never had it like that. And I like to feel the gravity. So, my in my games, my character is for like a rock. I like that. It feels... Because I'm going to give uh, the, the player a lot of air control when you jump. And it feels so satisfying when you're jumping over the enemies and that happens. So I like I like that. Okay, so so we can't fall down. But we have implemented we so we can fall we're falling down falling down for now, but we have implemented the gravity going up as well. So the only thing we need to do now is uh, just set the gravity up when we press jump right and the way is doing it here it is somewhere 
somewhere we're doing it, I'm sure, because this character can jump, right? Oh, because it's using a mask because long story short, forget about that. Okay, so... Right, I see what's going on here. And it's doing it uh, just after gravity. Okay, we can do it here. So, if he is key up, uh sorry no yes uh well okay and gravity and gravity is off right yeah if we jump falling already or oh, jumping we don't we don't jump and the only thing we need to do is frame set to frame jumping and gravity has to be gravity up is that gravity up i think that's what i said yeah gravity up um and what else okay so there is a jump flag here and i think we need that because <laughs> it's not jumping high enough, but it's trying, which is good. Yeah, see the problem? I don't like this. I don't like you pressing that. So I'm pressing jump and it keeps jumping. I don't like this. This is terrible. You know, games that do this, they're bad and they should feel bad. We don't like that. So, so we need a jump frame, a jump flag. Uh, or we, we can just call it jump. And then we say jump to zero here. And gravity off. And no jump. Then jump equals to one. And yeah, if we, if we don't press jump, so I'm forcing the player to uh, stop pressing the button. So otherwise, uh, yeah, just like this, and it would feel much better. No, it's not working. <laughs> I did it wrong. Uh, jump is one. Uh, oh, because. Gravity off. Okay, so otherwise, uh, wait a minute. No, if jump flag is, what's what's going on? Why is doing that? So. So if we're pressing up. Oh, this is doing things complicated. This is doing Coyote time here. Aha. So it allows some time after you start to fall. Yeah, because one of the downsides of the gravity implementation I like is that because it falls, they fall so quick. Um, it can be difficult. You know, it's quite, it, it feels sometimes like you need uh, pixel perfect jumps, um, which is not super good, you know, it's not great. So I usually implement Coyote time, which is basically I allow the player to jump sometime after it has left the, the platform. Yeah, we'll think about that later. Uh, for now, I just want to get the basics. Um, and probably adjust the gravity a little bit, uh, so it feels reasonably well, good. Um, so we're pressing up, and the gravity is off, and we're not jumping. Why is it? Why did it do it like this? I don't remember. So it's pressing up. If it's not pressing up, but yeah, but I. But that's what I'm doing, right? But it resets. 
I don't understand. Oh, because this is different, isn't it? Okay. Okay, I see. Yes. Yes, much better. Just like that. So, yeah. So, this is basically... Alright. It's just a flag. I just don't want jam to be stuck. So, see, I press. You don't see, but I'm pressing down, up. And I need to release the, the key to jump again. Now, there is something funny going on. And I'm not sure what it is. Uh... Yeah, the jump is... There's something funny going on. So... Okay, so we made it... Um, halt, right? Okay, so let me... Let me... Let me explain what I think is happening. But before that, let's get the... Can I get that? No. Uh, so it is going to be two hundred twenty. Okay. So what I think is happening is that so we realize that the name the number of frames is double, right? So we made the step halt, but they need to last the same. So now it's going to be fast, but the jump is going to be correct. See, that is too, too, too high. So I think it's fine now that we break it. Oh, we didn't break. Interesting. Here, yeah. hmm. didn't break either. So, so that's the right height, I think. Now, the problem is so that we are updating too frequently. Exactly, that's what I think. So, okay, so we want to do, I want to do seven. Yes, or maybe not. Maybe what we can do is we could be doing a jump delay. So we don't. We only need to take gravity half of the frames, and if we do that, we keep this seven. Otherwise, we will have to do twenty-four with the. Uh, no, actually, yeah, I like your idea. You convince me. So it has to be twenty-four. It can be twenty-four. So the only thing we're going to do different now is that. Because we said that, so half of seven, we say, oh, we can use four, right? But no, we can have seven because we can do four and three, right? Then we can do four and three. In fact, I think we probably can do four, four, three, three. So that's going to be the same, right? So this six here, is going to be two threes and the same one for this one then it's going to be well it's going to be two ones right I don't know really uh, because it has to be halt I guess we can do a one and a one, and then two zeros. Two ones, two zeros. Yeah, let's see how it goes. And then we duplicate these two zeros. If I can manage to put the commas, then two more zeros. Just, just what you said. Then two ones. Then it's going to be two twos. And then it's going to be two threes. And then if we are correct, it's to be 24. Let's see. Uh, 
No, it's not quite right. See? <laughs> it's like not quite right. Yeah, there are too many zeros. It's okay. It's okay. I think it's fine. I mean, there are too many zeros. That's why it's, it's kind of. Oh, and now we broke it completely. Because it's 22, right? Yeah, let's let's try to adjust. Yeah, and it's also too short, you're right. Okay, so let's do two ones here and see how it goes. Oh, you know what is wrong as well? So gravity up is one, but gravity down is not zero. It's that's going to be um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's why we were look, seeing something funny. Oh, look at that. It feels kind of nice, I think. It's a little bit too high, isn't it? <laughs> well, I have a name for the for the game that is a gold mine run, but this feels more like gold mine jump. I mean, it's just a little bit too much. I like I like a little bit of hop when when it gets up, but it's too much. So I'm going to remove two, and then it's going to be eleven. And see how it goes. There you go. That's more like it. <laughs> it feels feels weird. You know what I'm going to, yeah, you know what we can do? Um you know what game implements a similar thing uh but okay take a look i have a game here that i'm working on um in haskell and it's using you know it's doing pretty much the same type of animation i mean this feels so smooth compared with the other one so it's doing the same stuff, right? In Haskell, but it's 60 frames. So I guess somewhere uh, I have, yeah, there you go. So this is exactly the gravity I'm using in for 60 frames. Um, Let's see if this makes more sense. It may not. Oop. But not the jump, the jump height. Uh, no, the jump height is, is the same because I think it's 16 the same. Um, it's just that the numbers are different because I probably had the same problem. So I did the adjustment already. So this is going to be now 24, right? And gravity down is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Why am I using 14 in the other one? Oh, because, yeah, okay, makes sense. Yeah, wait for it. This might even work. Okay, let's see if there is anyone in no. This may work better. See? Aha! So this currently is using exactly the same. So this is the gravity as I adjust the gravity in the in the Husker game. That it works at 60 frames. 
So at the end, at the end, I mean, it's the same. It's just that we we adjusted um, the adjustment we made was to convert from a bit, and we had to do a little bit of fiddling. But I did that already uh, with with the Haskell one. So I think I'm going to keep this one because I already did all this work of you know feels weird. Okay, so I need to fix that. See that it's kind of getting stuck. Uh, so there is something funny going on in there. So the the horizontal movement needs to be adjusted. Uh, yes, it does a funny thing. And I fixed that in the Haskell as well. Let's look at that. Uh, it's in the update horizontal. Uh, yes, 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 yes. So the collision detection when you move in, in the horizontal is different if you are going up or you're going down. Come on, man. You do, you do, you do scheme and closure and whatnot. This should be super simple. It's super readable. It's, it's almost magic. So basically, uh, yeah, I mean, seriously, I'm not joking. I think it's easy to read because, and it was this, so I wrote this. So yeah, but that's the details of the syntax. Um, but the thing is, it's super easy. It was super easy to write and it's, it's complicated the code, right? But you can split things to such detail, like, so, so it's blocked uh, left and right, you know, if you push pressing left and right, then, you know, return the entity, we're not going to update. Um, so if you're facing left and dire direction is not left, then you, fa you know, it's, we, we can split the problem in very, you know, at the end, you're working only in one line, you know, so, I don't know, I find it easier. So basically what we do here is when we're going down, so when we're going up, we are checking, two things. <laughs> and I don't remember what things are. Yes, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. So basically, um, when we are moving left and right, we are checking only one point. And I think I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove, uh, do I want to remove that? Ah, oh, I don't know, man. Okay. So. I need to review that. I'm not happy with it. Yeah, I mean, it's seriously. Well, I find it easy, but there you go. Uh, and this is just because what I'm doing is this is a guard. And the, the thing that I found complicated at first was this where, which is like saying, it's like, it's not local variables. It's like having defines, like a constant that you can use. So you split the problem. So you chop the problem as much as you can. And at the end, you just look at one tiny bit of the problem and you can build things that are way more complicated, like, you know, getting all the enemies to use the gravity like the player was super simple, like compared with, you know, the, the complexity of doing it in, in C, for example. Anyway, so what I'm doing here is that when you're going down, so basically we check in Mm, so this is price half height 24. So when we're going down, we only check the feet. So a center point, that's the only thing we check. But when we're going up, we check two points. So that one 
and also uh, in the middle of the uh, I think I understand what I did so okay so oh damn it okay and then here we need to check if the gravity okay so if gravity <clears throat> So we said we said that this case that we have currently is when it's going down. Fine. So if gravity is that right? It's only when it's going down. Yeah. So if it's if it's going down, and if it's not going down, okay. So gravity is going down, and this, right? then we have to to increment and then or and the other bits which is going to be similar but oh gravity is not going down and then we're going to check two points uh, okay this see I, I don't like parentheses at all too many parentheses and I get confused it's less readable than you know chopping one per line is, is easier in my in my opinion my humble opinion so so it's blocked okay so it gravity down and this one is blocked Uh, then wait a minute because this is Haskell so so if it's blocked that one and it's going down I'm confused now this is horizontal why is uh, oh because it's this block then we don't update anything otherwise okay okay see it's even easier to understand because you don't change the, the sign. Okay, so this is the right case. Now, the other case is... Um, you need two cases. So it has this one has to be blocked. And the other one has to be blocked as well, which is the middle case, the middle point. So... And not this... And this. And again, parenthesis, my friend. So uh, it's 17, so I guess we can do here 7 or maybe 8. It's the middle point. Okay, so this is for left. For left. We need to do the same thing in right. So let's do the same, shall we? So let's copy this and then adjust because it's going to be similar. And I don't want to get with the parentheses again. So minus one here. So minus one here. And it's the same, it's just that we're checking on one extra point. And then that should fix that effect that we get the stuff. See? It's not doing it anymore. See? It's moved. Ah, there you go. But it's still doing the... For example, if I try... See? I'm not stuck in the, in the wall if I try. See? If I try to push the wall, it doesn't work. But if I'm down... It allows me to go up, that's no problem. And I can get out of it, but I'm not going to stay in the block, in the in the wall, right? 
Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so left seems to be okay. But right has a problem. Let's do it again because it was funny. Sorry, maybe it was out of camera. No, it was, it was in camera. What happened? What happened? Can I reproduce that? Oh, because it's out of boundaries. Alright. Yeah, okay, so that's wrong. There you go. Nice. What did I do wrong? Um, uh, minus 115. I did something wrong, but I don't know what it is. Oh no, this is the one that is correct. This is the one that is wrong. So plus 16. And then what's going on? Okay, so this may be wrong. Uh, because this is okay, minus 16, which is the, the width of the sprite. So that's one thing, that's to start with that one. And I suspect that once we have fixed that one, Okay, yeah. Nice to see you. See you next time. Bye bye. Yeah, it's a little bit late actually. Good point. Anyway, I'm kind of having fun right now. So let's let's try to finish this one. And I think the gravity is in a in the right in a right place. Yeah, that one is wrong. Ah. Oh. Anyway, oh, it's actually very broken. Uh, I don't understand. What's going on? Uh, gravity is going down. Um, no, I don't see it. It's actually more a problem with gravity, right? So, at least X plus 11. It has to be something like this. So, hit the floor. If this one or this block is blocked. Yeah, I see. It's because of this. We require the... Yeah, I think that's the problem. Uh, is that the problem? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, and also... Yeah. I think it's because of the gravity in there. Well, well, well. And this one, well, I want to check if the boundary, boundary, you know, if, can I get to that side, but. Okay, so that, that is fine now. We can get that way. But it's still the problem of what happens when I get so it gets I think this is the gravity down which is causing the problem because it gets inside the wall and it shouldn't because why um, let's take a look to how the gravity works in here. So, collision in line, faster, lower, very frame. Apply gravity. Uh, is blocked or is blocked? Oh, we check four points. Why? 
Uh... Oh no, it's just hitting the floor. Wait a minute. So that hit the floor. Sounds very similar to this one, right? Anyway, it's implemented differently. Yeah, it's the same. There you go. Okay, so... Otherwise... Apply gravity and we pass is blocked and then we change. Oh, there you go, because it is recursive. Brilliant, so nice. Uh, yeah, until it's blocked. Uh, why is checking? So each block, I guess. Ah, oh, because it's calling itself. It's calling B, it's releasing B, and it's updating, and then it, will, it checks again. So it's going down, it checks the floor. And it's doing 424, 1024, 410. Uh, but here we're doing 11 and 4, right? So, 11 and 4, so 11 and 4, 16, 11, 4, 15, so in this case it's, it's the same, it's the same, it is the same. And the gravity down is thus, it requires to do the block. It's doing 424, 4 and 10. And here we should doing 11 and 4. And here we're doing 11 and 4. So it is the same. And the height is 26 and this one is 24. Yeah, it's exactly the same code. So potentially this issue is also exists in the in the Haskell version. Interesting. I'm confused. It has to be something related to what we have implemented now. So, if gravity is down, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's take a look to the horizontal move, please. So, you press in right, and if it's going down, it checks. It checks only one point. Oh, it's, I'm silly. I, I'm silly. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not, so it's going down. It's gravity off or with gravity off, or gravity is bigger than that, see? Actually, we can do that. We can do... So... So if this is doing, it's going down, is either the gravity is off or the gravity is bigger than gravity down. Nah, gravity is gravity down. Okay. So we can do. So. It's easy to understand like this, I think. Because we can do it now. No. It's going down. Uh, 
right? It's easy to understand like this. Why is the other way? It's kind of less clear, at least for me. Okay, but there's still one thing here that it may not work, probably. Uh, there's a check there. Uh, okay. There you go. Yeah, okay. It speaks now. To some extent. I mean, it gets a little bit close. And it's because what I'm doing here is that it's going down is when the gravity is off. Or the gravity is down, it's going down. Shall we try with that? Maybe. No, see, it's kind of, it's breaking it. No, that's it. Okay, this is not going to be like that. I mean, if we don't get the effect of that we want here, while we going, why, why are we doing this? It's not, it's not working. So. If it's going down or not going down and not that. I don't know. There's something funny. Yeah, but it's not it's not doing the effect that uh, we were trying to accomplish, which is basically um, have two different checks when we go up and when we, when we go down. So you don't have that stopping you. Yeah, but it... So at least it's not crashing in there. So I don't know. Uh, so which is the one that is causing the problem? Going up or going down? I'm confused. Uh, because, oh, because it's going down, takes gravity off as well. But in this case, what we're doing here, no, we need to check, otherwise it's not the same. Doing uh, or yeah. And I didn't do R before, right? So that's why. Okay, so now, I mean, <laughs> it's not working, it's not working. There's something funny going on. I mean, that's the only problem I see. Everything else seems to be okay. So, if it's going right and it's going down, going, going down is either the, the gravity is off or gravity is actually going down. Then we check only one point. Is that what we're doing here? Uh, here. So, yeah, we check only one point. And if it's blocked, which is 
yeah, it's 24, it's 23, 24, 8, so it's 23. Um, yeah, if it's blocked, we don't do anything, otherwise we increment, increase. If it's not going down, then we check two points, and it's AND. So, so it has to be that it's going down, it's not going down, and these two are not true. Uh, maybe it's not eight, because we're doing 17 in the other one. So it's subtracting eight. Well, then it has to be seven. Maybe that's the problem. Sounds weird. It's definitely feeling like it's when it's going up, right? Now, maybe I think the Haskell code might have the same problem. There is no there, there is no platform like that one. Well, 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 well. I don't know. Mm. I have no idea. What is this one doing? So this is only one, checking one point. Which is the case that when it's going down. Uh, so the problem is when it's going up. I don't know, really. Um, it looks like it's only checking one point. Maybe the type of platforms, the, uh, maybe is that the platform that is kind of in the way, because this is exactly what it's doing. No more, no less. And it's absolutely fine. Well, no, it's not. It's not. There is a point there, huh? And it's even worse on that case. Ah. Oh. So, zooming up. Because I'm going to leave it here, I think. Um, I think it really works well in this type of platform. And well, it gets stuck on that one, but it kind of—it's kind of okay. Is that okay? Because I think it's just an awkward. Hate. Yeah, but it's not going to be good because, yeah, mm, that could have problems. Anyway, that's probably the only place, right? Because it's not happening on the top, because it's the head, right? Um, so, I don't know, maybe we can move this down a little bit. And that will not be a problem, right? No, <laughs> because it's probably going up. No, it's not going up, it's going down. So let's try to find some adjustment there. Because it may be just as simple as that. Now.
No. Definitely no. Yeah, but if we keep forcing this at the end, it's going to break somewhere else. Um, we don't want it to break. In fact, it's not changing anything. And it's making worse the other case. So, I don't know. Maybe we can check. No, because it's not the case. It's not the one that we're looking at. It has to be a problem with um, with going down. No, because it's 15, so I have no idea and it's late. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, uh, this looks awful, isn't it? Uh, can we look it, make it look slightly better? Okay, well, it's not the only, it's not perfect, but... I mean, that, that fix is definitely helping us to do a nice jump moving from one platform to the other. It gets a little bit stuck on that one. So I need to think how, how we can deal with it. But otherwise, this is looking good. Uh, we got the player already. Yay. Cool, this is going to be all for today. I'm going to commit this. And see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.